right now for something that sounds like a straight out of science fiction or from Star Trek. A startup company called Varda is making pharmaceuticals in space. It does this by launching a capsule the size of a washing machine hundreds of miles above Earth's surface into a region called low Earth orbit. It's in this gravity environment, gravity-free environment, where tiny par pharmaceutical crystals can be actually formed. Now, crystals of a quality that are not usually found or created in labs here on Earth. Crystals essential to making pharmaceuticals. The capsule then re-enters the atmosphere, plummeting to Earth with its precious cargo. What you're watching here is the company's very latest capsule re-entering and landing someplace in Australia on Wednesday of this week. So how might this change the medication you take? The founder and CEO of Varda Space Industries, Will Brewey, joins us now. Will, welcome to the show. So I've got to ask, why are drugs made in space better than drugs made on Earth? Hey, Elizabeth, yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, it's a great question. So in space, you actually described it very well. Uh, there is no gravity, and that means that the chemical systems and the chemical output is different than it would be here on Earth. You cannot reduce gravity on Earth. And so gravity is another knob that the pharmaceutical industry can use in creating a new formulation that would otherwise be impossible on Earth. It's kind of like a temperature knob where you can change a temperature knob on Earth to change the chemical system and the chemical output. We are introducing a gravity knob, which opens up a whole new world of formulations that you otherwise couldn't have access to. Now, I, you, the one example I've been given is that, for example, a drug that we have to currently in, it, it take through an IV and it takes a lot of time could instead be given very quickly with one shot? Exactly. So this is this drug has already been flown on the International Space Station and we're kind of commercializing it now. And so as those crystals change their shape, like you were describing earlier, we can change the formulation of the drug from an IV bag to a shot. And so we don't discover new drugs per se at Varda. We just add that gravity knob so that we can change the formulation and have it be a better patient experience. So you're improving the drugs as opposed to creating or inventing the drugs. Does it make the drugs better then? Exactly, yes. It and are they more expensive because they've been up in space and doing this? And so the, the formulation is tied to the... Are you there? Yeah, we're so, here. We're, your your audio is okay, just taking great. some hits. Go ahead and start again. No, your answer. No problem. So the yeah, the formulation can impact the efficacy as well as the patient experience. So if you take a drug that's a pill or an inhalable or an IV bag or a shot, the way you take the medication has a big impact on the efficacy, but also on the patient experience. And so when pharmaceutical companies determine which formulation they're going with, it's the patient is at top of mind. And what we do is we open up the envelope of what chemistry can do so that you can introduce formulations that you otherwise wouldn't have on Earth. Does this make these drugs more expensive? Um, so we add about 2% of the cost of the drug, uh, but we can reduce then again because you don't have to go into the clinic, for example. So if you don't have to go into the clinic for your IV bag and you can have a nurse come to your home to introduce a shot, we can produce things overall cheaper for the system. How many drugs do you think you can improve this way? So this is the beauty of it. Gravity is a fundamental force of physics, which means that all drugs are able to be tested in this new environment, very similar to a temperature knob. Whereas if you can now introduce refrigeration to the pharmaceutical industry, it's a good analogy. What Introducing refrigeration, cold doesn't make drugs better per se, but it does open up the envelope of what drugs are possible and or what formulations are possible. Similarly, by introducing microgravity, you can open up those formulation space. And this, uh, this capsule that just landed in Australia this week, was this experiment a success? Yeah, we, had a, uh, we already have delivered the data to the customer. Uh, the, the video that you showed, obviously, is uh, very beautiful. The team here is very excited. Uh, we're one of only two commercial uh, entities flying a commercial capsule like this in the world, SpaceX and ourselves. And uh, we just uh, uh, re-entered our third vehicle, and we're excited for uh, fourth and fifth coming up next. The name of the game here for Varda is increase cadence so that we can move more drug formulations uh, to bring them to patients sooner and more often. Absolutely fascinating. Will Brewey of Varda, thank you so much. Really appreciate Thanks, it. Elizabeth. All right. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.